In this video, we're going to prove that the radius and tangent always meet at 90 degrees. So in other words, that the radius OB is perpendicular or meets at 90 degrees to the tangent AD. Now to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to actually pretend for a moment that OB is not perpendicular to AD. Now it looks it, but let's pretend it's not. Now, if it's not perpendicular at this point of the line, there must be another point on this line AD where you could draw a line from O and it would be a right angle. Okay, let's pretend it's C. So let's pretend that OC is perpendicular to AD. Okay, so let's pretend that OB is not perpendicular to the tangent and let's pretend there's another line OC that is perpendicular to the tangent. Now, it obviously doesn't look like an anti degree angle, but let's pretend it is. Okay, so let's pretend that this line is perpendicular to the tangent. Now, if this was a 90 degree angle, that would mean that if this is an anti degree angle, that this angle would have to be acute. The reason is that in a triangle you can only have one 90 degree angle, and that means that the other one would have to be smaller than it. So that means that if this is 90, this one here would have to be acute. So, another thing to remember is that in a triangle, the biggest side is opposite the greatest angle. So in other words, if I know that this angle here, or if I, I'm pretending that this angle here is 90, that, mean that, the, that would mean that the biggest side is this one, okay? It would mean that this is the larger side, biggest, okay? Now, if that's the biggest side, OB, that would mean that OB is bigger than OC, okay? Because it would be saying that this is the biggest uh, side in this triangle here. So we're saying that OB is bigger than OC. Now, you can probably see what's coming here, that obviously we know that OB is the radius. And if OB is the radius, look, OE is the radius. Now we're saying that this radius, OB, is actually bigger than this line, OC. Now, that can't, that, that's not true, okay? Because obviously this line goes beyond the circle, okay? So if we say in that OB is the same as OE, if we go back to our inequality, whenever we said that this is the biggest side, we said that OB is bigger than OC, I'm actually gonna replace the OB with the OE. So that would give me that if I replace this OB with an OE, I get OE is bigger than OC. Now that's actually saying that this radius is actually bigger than the line that goes beyond it. Obviously that's impossible. Now if that's impossible, that means our assumption that um, OC is perpendicular, that this is perpendicular to the line AD is false and it cannot be true, it's impossible. Therefore, that would mean that OB, the radius, has to be perpendicular to the tangent. So therefore, OB is always perpendicular to the tangent AD. So if we repeated this for any other point on the line AD except for B, you would find this to be the case and you would find it would be impossible. So therefore, the only place where there could be a, a 90 degree angle would have to be where the tangent and the radius met each other. So therefore, that means that the radius and the tangent will always meet at 90 degrees. So it means that the 90 degrees cannot be here, and in fact is here. 